Random variables x and y are uniform on the region bounded by the x and y axis and the curve y equals one minus x square. Calculate e of xy. Now, first of all, this is not a well-worded problem because uh, there could be two regions uh, which satisfy these conditions that they're bounded by x and y axis and y equals one minus x squared. So y equals one minus x squared, you know, would be a curve like that. And so uh, if you have to bound them by the x axis, the y axis, so x axis is this, y axis is this. And um, this is the part of the um, y equals one minus x squared that's in the first quadrant. So then you get this region, but you could as well have the part in the second quadrant. So you could as well have this region, which is also bounded by this curve, the x axis and the y axis. So they should have specified that they're talking of the first quadrant region, which we can see from the answers. Uh, because uh, if x and y are positive always, then you get all positive answers for the e of x, y. But if we were in the second quadrant, then e of x, y would be negative because uh, in the second quadrant, the x's will be negative and y's will be positive. And so uh, you expect the product to be negative. <clears throat> but since the answers are positive, so we see that it's the first quadrant region that they're talking about. So uh, the region is as we discussed, the y equals one minus x squared is this curve and the two axes. And uh, it's the, hmm, first quadrant region here, as we said, based on the answers. And uh, the distribution is uniform. They're, they've given that the distribution is uniform. So in case of a uniform distribution of two functions, uh, the joint PDF is the reciprocal of the area of the region. So basically we need to find the area of this region and that's calc one, it's area under the curve. This is the curve, y equals one minus x square and we want the area under it from x equals zero to x equals one. So one minus x square, x zero to one. Integral is x minus x cubed by three, zero to one and you substitute the limits, you get two thirds. So the PDF, the joint PDF is the reciprocal of the area in case of uniform distribution. So one over A, it'd be three over two, which is 1.5. And we want E of X, Y. So that's the double integral of X, Y against the joint PDF. And as we see from the picture, the Y goes from zero to one minus X square and X goes from zero to one and x, y, and the PDF is 1.5. Y goes from zero to one minus x squared, x goes from zero to one, and 1.5 can be pulled out. X is a constant when you integrate with respect to y, you get y squared by two. Substitute the limits, and x, one minus x squared whole square, because it's y squared, the two combines with this to give 0.75. The x stays outside and the lower limit is zero. And then uh, we open the square up. So we get one minus two x squared plus x four, and then you distribute this x before integrating, you get x minus two x cubed plus x five. And now the integral can be taken x squared by two minus two x four by four plus x six by six from zero to one. And when we substitute the limits, we end up with more 0.125. That was choice B.